good afternoon. My name is Hollis Hyatt, and the title of this capstone is Exploring Sensory Development in Southeast Alaska. Throughout this presentation, I will be covering the following topics. I'll talk about the literature, the site needs assessment, purpose, description of the project, the objectives, alignment with our core threads of the program, summary of the process, outcome measure, data analysis, and results, the overall implications, lesson learned, sustainability, and next steps. A lot to go over. <laughs> so starting with the overview of the literature, the benefits of sensory integration is well-documented and evidence-based. Um, and my project is really geared towards sensory development in children. So that's basically what this article here is stating, it's stating the effectiveness of that. Um, an area in the literature that is not as well documented is just how and why parks, playgrounds, and the outdoors offer opportunities for children to acquire sensory input. And that is what this article is stating here. And it's very important to my, my project. Uh, so where was I for 14 weeks? I was at Community Connections, which is an organization that serves three different islands in Southeast Alaska. It employs 200 people through three different departments, and they serve approximately 600 individuals every year through these, through these programs. And something unique about this organization that I wanted to mention is just that they serve the entire lifespan. So they're serving through these programs, birth until elderly. Um, for my project specifically in my site, I was in the early learning program, um, which serves children birth to three and their families. And so this is a photo of the early learning ladies and my site mentor specifically was an, is an occupational therapist. Here is a photo of Halloween and the Ketchikan site, which is really fun. All right, so the needs assessment, the gap in the literature. Um, there needs to be more rural area research. And we know that something Montana and Alaska can highlight because rural areas, lifestyles, barriers, and access to resources are different than those of highly populated areas. Um, our my site also emphasized the need for just general information. There needs to be more general information and parents for parents in these communities is what they wanted to highlight. And also they wanted my project to emphasize that working on sensory processing is not just for big therapy clinics and that we're surrounded by sensory, by sensory rich environment that we can take advantage of. And lastly, um, a need specific to Southeast Alaska and living in a rainforest is that the rain can be a barrier for kids to do things outside. So these are all things that we've taken into consideration to build the capstone project. With that being said, the purpose of this project was to provide families with simple sensory play activities and to increase understanding and awareness of sensory development, promote community engagement and offer support when needed. And we did that through making 12 location specific brochures with all of that information that I just talked about. But making them um, location specific, we were able to take photos of the actual play equipment at these locations and make a key with the definitions of each sensory system and have them relate which type of sensory input a child may receive while playing on that equipment or engaging in those activities. So we also decided to make two large scale I spy activities for the plaza, the mall in town. And we did that because we found out that the mall is a place that a lot of families go to get out of the rain. So instead of just walking around, we thought, why not make these fun I spy activities with corresponding brochures for families to follow along with. So we were able to promote these brochures at a bunch of local events that I'll talk about soon. And then Along with that, we um, were able to place a QR code on the back of each brochure that linked families to the Community Connections website and um, a page on the website that they allowed me to develop that was just um, more in-depth on each sensory system and additional sensory activities to do at home. And so the last piece of this whole project was the development of a mom's club. We partnered with two other organizations um, to do this, and I'll talk a little bit more about that too. So here is an example of one of the locations that we made for the brochures. So the site objectives, I'll summarize each of these, but the first one was met um, through just developing the sensory rich, rich activities and resources. The second one was meeting with the interdisciplinary team, which was also met, and I'll talk a little bit more about that too. Um, the third one was 
collaborating with these community organizations to create the moms group. And really that one was met because we did make the moms group, but due to lack of or minimal participants, the moms group never truly took off. Um, and it was a very humbling experience. And we really ended up just doing a very in-depth needs assessment um, throughout those 14 weeks and just learning how much time and effort it can take to make a group like this successful. And then the fourth one is developing my pre post survey, which was met through the outcome measure. And then the last is um, related to the needs assessment, which was also met as I previously mentioned. So for the 14 week process, the beginning weeks were really meeting with the team and getting those first brochures drafts going along with the first moms group being conducted. So that's when I was able to meet with the, each member individually of our team and get feedback. And then it was just the progression of continuing to make these 12 brochures, which was a lot more than we thought we were gonna make. Um, and then handing out the pre and post questionnaires. So the pre was handed out at week 10, the post um, on week 14. So talking about the core threats, um, my project aligned with embracing diversity and community engagement. As I mentioned, we were able to promote these resources at five fairs over 14 weeks on three different islands. One of these islands being the only native reservation in Alaska. And then the second is valuing interdisciplinary therapeutic approaches, which again, as I mentioned, we were able to meet with every single member of the interdisciplinary team to enhance these resources going out in the community. Here are some fun photos of our fairs. So the outcome measure. So as I mentioned, on week 10, I handed out this free questionnaire on the right, and week 14, I handed out the post. That gave them time to look over the sensory brochures, and ultimately, it gave them just rating the effectiveness. So is there any change after, after viewing those brochures because the questions asked were to rate their knowledge and understanding of sensory development pre and post and the same with um, their knowledge and understanding pre and post of how park and playground activities can enhance their child's sensory development. And so for the demographic, I had 11 caregivers that filled out these um, questionnaires and the caregivers had children zero to three. And then it was a mixed methods approach. So that was the quantitative piece that I talked about. And then the qualitative was just verbal and written feedback with common themes found. So this is just showing the progression. The brown, these are the two different questions. The left and the right are the two different questions that they were ranking themselves on. And then for the colors, it's the brown is the pre and the green is the post. So you can see just the jump in their rate ranking higher understanding of these areas after reviewing the brochures. Qualitative are some feedback. Um, common themes were increased community engagement, increased um, understanding of sensory systems, and caregivers reporting their time at these locations being more intentional with their children after reviewing the brochures. So summary, as I've already mentioned of the results, um, these resources developed increased caregivers' knowledge and understanding of these um, sensory system or sensory development in children. Impact and implications. So something that I really wanted to know is the importance of presenting this through an OT lens is the consideration of the whole child. So we're looking at that the environment, parks and playgrounds. We're looking at the person, their sensory system, and we're looking at the occupation, which is playing outside and engaging in these activities. So we're looking at the child holistically, um, which I think is just really important for the effectiveness of these brochures. And then an implication is just that the brochures are only accessible through my site. They're not um, at public locations. So a couple lessons learned um, for the moms group is really navigating collaboration with multiple organizations was a total learning process. And things that we would do differently is, you know, have more regular meeting times to make sure everyone was on the same page and, and going towards the same goals. And just how important the continuous needs assessment was for developing this group. Um, and then time management to make sure all timelines were met. Sustainability, so early learning program are the keepers of these brochures and they can hand them out and plan to for new families enrolling in their program and they plan to promote them at local events. Um, the website content, same, they can change or modify it whenever appropriate. So those are pretty sustainable 
Um, and then additionally, we've prepped another I Spy activity for them all when they want to change it out. And then for the Moms Club, it is on a pause right now after reviewing all of the needs assessment information that was found. Um, all the organizations involved decide just to take a break um, and then meet back up when they decide to pursue it again. All right, thank you for listening to my spiel about my capstone. Um, please don't hesitate to contact if you have any questions. Thank you.